Hi, I'm Amy Goldberg, a registered nurse with the Elder Service Plan of the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center. The goal of the Elder Service Plan is to keep people living in their home in a healthy, independent, and active manner. We service East Boston, Chelsea Revere, Winthrop, and Everett. And my guest today, I'm delighted to say, is Stephanie Savastra, who is a licensed acupuncturist, and she has joined the Elder Service Plan recently. So, Stephanie, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're thrilled to have you. <laughs> so now tell me, what exactly made you look into being an acupuncturist? It's a little unusual. It is, it is. I um, fortunately got introduced to acupuncture at a very early age, um, probably 13 years old. Wow. I was a gymnast and I acquired a lot of injuries, a lot of sprained ankles and broken you know, feet and sprained shoulder, elbow. And so I was doing physical therapy and other kind of conventional medicine. Um, but I was an elite athlete, so I really needed to be in the gym and in competition. Um, so my mother took me to an acupuncturist and I started to notice that my injuries were healing in about half the time. So if I had a sprained ankle and the doctor said, you know, you're going to be off of this ankle for, you know, four to six weeks, I would go see my acupuncturist and I would be back in the gym within four to six days. Wow. And so it really piqued my interest and then I kind of continued from there. So we're lucky <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. you did. Yeah. Well, my next question is, so... What exactly is acupuncture? So acupuncture is a whole system of medicine that uses really fine sterile needles to treat physical, mental, and emotional imbalances in the body. And it was developed thousands of years ago in China and is now used worldwide as a primary and complementary therapy. Um, it's really great. It's based on this concept of qi, which I like to say translates to life force or energy. And the best way to think of that concept is to think of a garden hose that has a kink in it or like a knot. And now that flow of water is disrupted and that's the water that the plants need to thrive. And likewise, um, when chi or life force in our body becomes disrupted or it's out of balance or reduced, we experience illnesses and disease. So acupuncture really aims to promote health by balancing the flow of chi in our bodies. And then you do it with needles, you said. Yes. Okay, so right away people are like, uh, I don't like needles, <laughs> right? I hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, yep. why don't you just show everyone on me yep. about what the needle looks like, and I'll give you my sure. eye. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Most so. people are really surprised to learn that about 40 acupuncture needles can fit into one single hypodermic needle. Wow. That's how thin they are. They're really thin, they're flexible, um, they're not hollow like a hypodermic needle, um, they're solid. And we'll give a little demo right here. Okay. So I'm just going to swab that. So you'll look at me and see what happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> see if you jump off the chair, yeah. which I guarantee you won't. No, I've you'll had barely this. barely feel it. Right. So, real quick. Okay, so I want everyone to take a peek at that. So there's um, a needle. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, not in any <laughs> pain. It's this tiny little it needle really is. in my arm. Yeah. And basically what happens is Just to show I've, people. okay. Just look how thin this is. You can bend it. You'll probably barely see it on the television, but <laughs> yeah. really thin. So. Um, I've had an experience with acupuncture. Mm -hmm. um, you. Thank you. Welcome. I've had an experience with acupuncture in that um, I had a back problem mm. and I am now 100% fine. And I go to Pilates, you yeah. know, almost every day of the week and I have no problems at all. That's wonderful. From this little needle. Right. <laughs> I know it. And normally the amount of pain that people are in when they come to, to see me or an acupuncturist, I mean, they don't even care at that point, you know, about right. the needles. So clearly, yeah. it's very fine. Yeah. It's little. So thin. It's not a big deal. Not at all. No, it shouldn't keep right. anyone from coming in, that's for right. sure. I, so um, why should someone try acupuncture? 
I can think of hundreds of reasons, um, but if you refer to the slide, I picked my top three. Um, and the first one would be, well, it's personalized healthcare. And that's probably one of my favorite reasons um, that acupuncture is just so amazing. It's not cookie cutter whatsoever. So of course we have some standard protocols um, and such, but let's say I have five people coming into my office for a headache. Each single person will get a totally different unique treatment based on what they need. And I think that's why acupuncture works so amazingly well, is we really treat the individual and we give you know, the person exactly what they need to go back into balance. And it's, it works. I mean, it does work. And that's, you know, that's a great reason to come in. People aren't sure. They're like, well, I don't want to, you know, come in. Does it work? And I'm, of course it does. Right. Um, the World Health Organization and the Nas National Institutes of Health, upon clinical trials, uh, so many research studies have all validated that acupuncture works. And it works for thousands of different ailments. And then you mentioned something to me about prevention. Yes, prevention is really great. And I think that is something that's overlooked um, about you know, why to try acupuncture. A lot of people say, well, I feel pretty good. You know, why, why should I come in? And, um, and because Chinese medicine, prevention is really key. And it's something we really focus on. So prevention um, can look like two things. One is you have a disease or an ailment and you prevent it from flaring up by coming to acupuncture. So, you know, let's say maybe asthma or right. something like that. The second um, kind of way that looks is you are preventing a disease from actually starting in the first place. And that could be a genetic um, condition. We can kind of help with that. It could help with, you know, maybe a cold or flu. Everyone else has the cold right now. And if you come right. in for acupuncture, you know, we could prevent you from getting that by boosting your immune system. So it can look like a few different ways, but in uh, Chinese medicine, prevention is um, really emphasized. And I always say, you know, why treat you when you're sick? Let's prevent you from even getting sick. Right. Yeah. I don't think anyone would ever think of that. Right. I really mean it. Yeah. You just wait till you get sick. And, and then you treat it. And but then yeah, you come. Stay healthy. I know. Um, let's talk about um, what types of illnesses people um, go to see you for acupuncture. Sure. Most people think, I think, that it's only for pain. Mm -hmm. Like I had pain down my leg, mm -hmm. I'm gonna see an acupuncturist. Right. But I know that there's much more now that you and I have met. Yeah. I was very surprised. Yeah. Um, I think in the US alone, there's a million plus people who have sought out acupuncture, which is amazing. And of the majority, a lot of the people do come in for pain. But they're really pleased to find out, like you said, that acupuncture treats more than pain. So it treats kind of respiratory problems like um, allergies, asthma, emphysema, COPD, um, ears, nose, and throat problems, such as sinusitis and rhinitis, which is kind of that runny nose that everyone has right about now. Yeah. <laughs> Digestive complaints like irritable bowel syndrome or colitis. Um, we even treat mental, emotional problems such as like stress and depression, which is really great. And then thousands of other things um, such as insomnia, all sorts of sleep problems are really common for people. Um, and I, you know, I'm just so excited that most people come in and they, you know, they say I have knee pain. And then upon talking to them, they realize that, you know, through acupuncture, um, some of their other ailments will be addressed as well, which is really fun. Well, some of our patients, yeah. participants, we call yeah. them, of the Elder Service Plan, um, have had very positive results. So what I would like to do is just to take a moment and we'll go to the Wellness Center and speak to a few participants who have had positive experiences with you. That sounds great. So we'll be right back. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the Wellness Center in East Boston. We are thrilled to be able to interview a couple of our participants today. So my first guest is Linda Ringles. Welcome to Hi. Checking In With Amy. And so we're talking today about acupuncture. So tell me, have you ever had acupuncture before? Yes, once. Once here? Uh, yes. Yes, and were you afraid? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was very relaxing. Um, she put needles where where the pain is, and she just lets you relax. And that felt great. Yeah, very so good. So she's treating you for what kind of issues? I have arthritis and I have back issues. Okay. And you started to tell me when we came into this room that you were feeling a certain way last week, and how are you feeling this week? Oh, I feel, me. I feel good this week. Last week, I had an arthritis flare up, and I couldn't walk. So I had to go in the nursing home for two days. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but now I'm feeling a lot, lot better. So the acupuncture you felt? Yes, you? yes I did, definitely. And then you said after you get a treatment, you actually feel like you could just doze off. Oh yeah, she, she leaves you in the room and she puts some nice soothing music on for you. And she comes back in 12 minutes. By that time I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't feel the needles? Or? No, not at all. Yeah. No, really. Yesterday, or um, she showed me exactly what she did with the needles, and she did one right on me, and I didn't feel anything. No, at all. you don't. You don't feel it at all. I know. So, well, I'm so glad that it's helped you, Linda, and I'm so glad that you were able to take a moment to just tell us about the benefits of acupuncture. I would recommend it to anybody. Wow. That's it's great. really nice. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. My second guest today is Tom Greenwood, who also is a member of the Elder Service Plan, and we're here at the Wellness Center with him. So, Tom, we're here today to talk about the benefits of acupuncture. So, tell me how has acupuncture benefited you? Well, Amy, uh, I was a bit, you know, I was skeptical when I first thought about acupuncture, but after having with my first session, uh, it's, it's benefited me fantastic. My right arm, I couldn't lift hardly at all, and now I have almost full extension. Wow, that's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. I know. So were you afraid, or? I wasn't afraid, no. No, no, no. no. You were okay with that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So now I know you worked for us for many years. Yeah. We worked together. 15 years. You were a driver. Yes. So clearly you think highly of the elder service plan. Oh, I do. I do, yes. <laughs> yeah. So what other parts of do you find um, about acupuncture that surprised you? Just the way it works. Uh, it's just, I, like I say, I was skeptical, but... After doing it, I just found that uh, a lot of things have gotten better. Not, not cured yet, right. but they've eased up the pain and, and everything has eased. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And the needles, <clears throat> do they hurt? Or? Uh, not really. I, I had a couple of needles that stung, but she said that's because it's opening up a blockage. Okay. All right. And it only, ha it only lasted for a few seconds and right. it went away. Okay. So, Tom, before we leave, is there anything else that you can think of to tell the viewing audience about acupuncture that they didn't know about? Well, if anybody's skeptical, just listen to this video. And uh, right. I was a skeptic. I didn't know. It's been, it's been around for thousands of years, so right. I mean, something's got to be right about it. That's right. Uh, if you're skeptical, try it once. Right, and see what you think. And see. Yeah. That's all I so, can say. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, you're and, very welcome. Thank you for having me. Being on Checking with Amy. Thank you. Okay. I'm so glad that you all had the opportunity to hear some of the testimonials about the benefits of acupuncture. I think hearing the actual patients talk about it, that's the way we can really learn and then be able to help each other. So acupuncture, can that also go along with other therapies? Yes, actually Western and Eastern medicine work really beautifully together. Um, so acupuncture in itself is a very natural, drug-free form of therapy, um, and it doesn't have a lot of side effects. Um, so the beauty about that is acupuncture can help with the side effects that you might experience from using a prescription medicine and or you know a surgical intervention or some sort of other kind of conventional therapy. Um, one important thing that I think I would like viewers to know is you know with a lot of the pain medications uh, an increase in falls is really common 
in um, the, you know, the older population. So acupuncture can help reduce the side effect and then, you know, promote balance, which is really big because, you know, life-threatening um, hip fractures and breaks, you know, is a, is a real problem. So by um, using acupuncture, you can actually reduce um, that side effect in your medication. This is all inclusive. Yeah, yeah all inclusive. Yeah, <laughs> we have all inclusive care yeah, for the elderly. Exactly, acupuncture has all inclusive. Yeah, and if care. you have like uh, you know a surgery or something like that, if you see your acupuncturist before and after surgery, right. you um, research shows that you will actually heal faster and more thoroughly. I would think another good question to ask you would be, mm -hmm. how many visits do you think on the average? Because mm. people, I think, when they go to see a yes. new doctor for something. They want to know of course. that. That's probably one of the most common questions I get when someone comes into my office. And unfortunately, it is not a clear cut answer for a lot of people. We have to take into consideration uh, the person's constitution. So, are they coming in uh, with vibrant health or are they coming in with, you know, um, kind of a weaker constitution? Um, also, how long have you had the problem? If, has your back pain been for two months or has it been for 20 years? Right. Um, so there's a lot to look at with that. But generally, um, acute problems, you know, let's say like a sprained ankle, might take one or two visits, whereas something that's wow. more chronic, it could take maybe, I would give it at least six visits, at least six, to start noticing um, some benefits. But it's, you know, you never know. The you body do. is amazing, so well, there's no cookie cutter answer to that. Speaking from experience, <laughs> yeah. when I went to my acupuncturist, yeah. I had a whole list of everything that I was, that I had done. Yeah. And he asked me, how has that worked for you? And I said, it hasn't. Right. So he said, right. let's put that aside. Yep. And I just changed my whole headset on it. Yeah, that's so wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. You're so welcome. This Thanks was for having me. Great, and um, I think it's just a new way of people thinking about treatment. Mm. And there's so much out there, so we are blessed to have you aboard on our team. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. So, if you are interested in any more information about acupuncture or any of our other shows, we would love to send it to you. Please feel free to email me if you would like at checkingin at ebnhc.org, which is East Boston Neighborhood Health Center.org. You can also call us at 617 568 6377. And if there's any information that you would like, we would be glad to send it along to you in a little bag, checking in with Amy. So, we can be a really good stop for you to just come listen to our shows and really grow. And until we meet again, I'm really thrilled that you tuned in again to Checking In with Amy, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Bye now. My parents were always very independent. They always seemed to take care of each other. My dad met my mom when she was 13 and he was 15, so they got a lot of practice. It was really difficult when they were faced with health challenges and started to need some help. It, it was also really hard on me and my brothers. It seemed like uh, every day we were getting calls. They needed to go to this appointment or that appointment, and it became pretty apparent that they you know, really couldn't live on their own without some help, and more importantly, stay healthy. We're lucky to find the Elder Service Plan uh, almost immediately after enrolling, uh, we saw some real change for the positive. Uh, all their medical appointments were in the same location, including the prescriptions. Uh, if they did need to go to a, see a specialist, then transportation would take them, and that was a big relief for us. Uh, my mom attended the Pace Day Center each day where she could really socialize, and she loved that. Uh, when they needed services in the home, that was a big help too. 
Um, and like that, you know, he'd still call me every day, but uh, not because he had to, because he wanted to. He'd say, Stevie, you know, you won't believe it, they fixed my teeth, uh, they got me some new shoes today. Uh, just brought some amazing stability to the family. I'll see you a little later today, okay? Okay. My name is Lucas Akerley. I'm the activities coordinator for the Elder Service Plan in Winthrop. Today we're doing active parachute games. We uh, have a ball toss with some music. It's fun. Keeping active at ESP is part of our plan to keep you happy, healthy, and independent. Our mission at the Elder Service Plan is to keep our participants living safely in the community. And we do that in a number of ways, the first being with the physician and the entire team to take care of the person medically. We also try to think creatively and provide other things that they may need, be it shopping service, laundry service, we may provide respite for um, the caregiver, or even aid visits in our supported housing. We try to be as flexible as possible here in the Elder Service Plan to reach the goal of keeping our participants living safely in the community. My name is um, Patty Ferranti and um, I'm with the Elder Service Care Program and I absolutely love it. Just talking about it right now makes me want to cry. Before I was in the ESP, I was always calling my family and having them, you know, pick me up to take me to doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And now I, you know, now that I'm in ESP, I have the door-to-door um, -to -door service, coordinated care. My doctor always knows I'm coming. They always arrange my appointments. Everything is just so perfect. The program is fantastic, it really is. As a physical therapist in the Elder Service Plan, a big part of my job is to help people keep up with their strength and balance. Um, a lot of times I see people after they get injured or some type of surgery, but a, another part of my job is to make sure people stay active with the regular exercise program so they don't lose the strength and balance they gain back. What we do is we talk to the person to find out what they want. Do they want to increase their endurance, their strength? Do they want to be able to do things easier throughout the course of their day. We will work with them and develop a plan and we move forward with it. We try really hard to keep up with the mission of the program which is to keep people in the community of their choosing for as long as possible and as safe as possible. Even sometimes just a cane or a walker can make all the difference in making sure people stay safe. Very central to our plan and what we do here is the patient, the person, and uh, the way we deliver that care is by having a care plan which centers around a person's goals, their choices. As the medical director for the Yellow Service Plan for the last 25 years, uh, I've had the pleasure of watching our program grow enormously. While we started out largely in East Boston, we now serve participants in Chelsea, Revere, Everett, East Boston, and Winthrop. I think one of the real great reasons for our success is our ability to uh, comprehensively coordinate our participants needs. It's not just seeing the doctor or the nurse. Pharmacists, activities directors, nurses, nurse practitioners, van drivers, dietitians, all of us work together under one roof to keep our members healthy, active and independent.